Hi everyone, Chef Mooney here coming to you from Mooney's Kitchen. Now I know it's been so long, such a long time since I made a video. I'm starting back up again. It's just been a bit crazy, sometimes life gets in the way and uh, we're all busy, but I do still miss, and I've missed it, missed it so much. So let's get on with today's recipe. I'm gonna show you a beautiful pepper sauce that you can have with your fillet steak. So come with me for the next few minutes and let's make this wonderful sauce together. Okay, let's run over the ingredients. What we're going to need is one clove of garlic, finely crushed or chopped, about two tablespoons of parsley. We want two teaspoons of green peppercorns. They're really uh, quite, you can buy them in the can. They're, they're a soft peppercorn, they're actually very nice. Secret ingredient, one tablespoon of oyster sauce. We've got half a small onion, we're adding a splash of cream, that is optional, you don't have to add it. And we're gonna be using a traditional gravy powder. Two tablespoons of olive oil, just to get the onions cooking. Let that heat through, and put the onions in. Now you wanna sweat these off on a gentle heat till they're slightly soft. And this can take up to about a minute. Next we'll add our garlic, and we'll add our whole green peppercorns two teaspoons. I'm going to add a little bit of the parsley and I'm saving some just to toss in towards the end. So about three quarters of the parsley you can add in now. Some pepper. Don't be too concerned about adding too much pepper because you can always add more towards the end. And just let that slowly sweat through now. And it smells delicious. Don't be too much of a rush to get this cooked. Just let it do its thing. Let those onions sweat off nicely. Now you can add mushrooms to this. You can add, well, I guess whatever you like. I'm going to add my gravy powder. Two tablespoons. Just cook this through. Three quarters of a cup of water. Now, uh, you can use um, beef stock, but I find that when you do add beef stock, because of the gravy powder, it, it's too overpowering. So that's why I only add water to this. Now this will start to thicken, but you just want it nice and slow. We're in no rush. And it's a good idea to make the sauce first. That way, once the sauce is done, you can set it aside and um, get your vegetables ready or whatever you're going to have with your steak. or your, And you can use this sauce for chicken as well, by the way. Okay, one tablespoon of oyster sauce. That's the ingredient, that's the secret ingredient. And that's why you don't want to add any beef stock to this, because it becomes too overpowering. And you want a good lug of cream in there about 150 mils of cream. Just let this just sort of cook out a little bit. And I promise you, if you try this sauce, you and your friends will be very impressed. Now you just let that cook through until you get the thickness that you like. Adjust it for taste and seasoning, of course. I'm just gonna Increase the heat here now and just get it up to a bit of a simmer. So there you have it. It's a really nice sauce. It's um, quite peppery, and you can add you can add a splash of red wine to this. You can add all sorts of things. So there you go, guys. There's my creamy peppercorn sauce, and that's going to go delicious with my fillet steak. I promise you that. Thanks for watching. Well, thanks again for joining me and I hope you give that recipe a try. Until next time, you have a safe week. Take care.